Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com doing some uh, Prism World Cup Soccer. Uh, recent release, maybe a few weeks ago. This is four box random country break number eight from jazbeeshobbyland.com. World Cup just around the corner. Big thanks to these folks for getting to the action. There's all the countries and the combos and all that. Let's randomize each list six times, two and a four, six times. One, two, three, four, five, and six. All right, we go, got Daniel down to Mark after six times. Two and a four, six times with the countries. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So after six times, we've got Netherlands, Morocco on the pole, and Iceland in the 26th spot. All right, Daniel, you got the Netherlands-Morocco combo. Andrew K, England. Daniel Patera, Brazil. Austria and Chile. Robert, you got France. Jason Launer with Argentina. EJ with the Wales-Switzerland and Tunisia combo. Jason Launer with the Australia-Belgium combo. The Norway-Saudi Arabia combo. Marty, last spot, Mojo. España, Spain. Portugal for Jason Senyin with Poland and Peru. Anderson with Sweden. Mark with the Japan-Korea combo. Daniel with Costa Rica. Anthony with us. United States. Can't believe we didn't make it. Alex, really, thank God Christian Pulisic is, is young. Alex Carmichael, Serbia, Senegal, Russia. Mark Glassman, Denmark, Egypt. Nigeria, Panama. Josh, you got Uruguay. Peter with Germany. Josh with Colombia. Mark with Italy, Iran. Mexico, Croatia for Daniel. And Mark with Iceland. We'll alphabetize by country. Feel free to trade if you'd like. I just need to get some more top loaders while you're thinking about trading. Otherwise, we'll just uh, we'll just go. So I'll give it another 10, 10, 20 seconds or so. Now remember, each box um, is not guaranteed an autograph. By the way. Each box not guaranteed an auto. Um, uh, in place of an autograph, a lot of times there, so it kind of makes the autos a little more special. The uh, Sometimes the autographs are replaced with a low numbered parallel, maybe out of 20 or under. France is good, Robert. They are uh, the odds on favorite to win the World Cup, which starts in just, uh, just a few weeks, two or three weeks, I think. All right, doesn't look like anybody's trading, so let's print and rip. Print. So TWC trade window closed. All right, good luck, everyone. There's nothing else filled up after this, but uh, Flawless Football only had two teams left. It's 2016 Flawless Football. So that could be our very next break, a nice high-end break we can do right after this. This will take about half an hour. All right, there's the official printout right there. Thanks for hanging out with me on a Friday, folks. You know, and we got we got basketball on. It's your Friday night. It's a lot of for you. A lot of you. It's your weekend. So I appreciate everybody spending a little time with me here at Jasmine Sobbyland. Appreciate it. Well, who who's looking forward to the World Cup? I know I am. We've got got a. World Cup starts on Thursday, the 14th of June. So that's two or three weeks from now. I'm very excited about it. And the hours, I feel like. Robert's looking forward to it. So is Eric Jennings. It's a spectacle. It's like the Olympics. Although I never look forward to the Olympics. <laughs> but when they actually start happening, then I'm into it. Then I start watching. You know, but... But World Cup is definitely, I get hyped about it, I'm looking forward to it, and I like watching it. There'll be a lot of weird hours, so I think it'll be a, kind of a, a weird sleepless month. I'm trying to catch as many matches as possible. We're probably falling asleep to a lot of soccer matches or waking up to soccer matches. I think the time difference, Eric Jennings, is like, what's the time difference? Like, t 10 hours? From LA, I think it's like 10 hours. 
maybe maybe a little bit more actually. I think to England it's like seven or eight hours, right, from LA. I think from New York to England, I think it's only like a few hours, three or four hours. Uh, Robert asked you, what kind of cards do we send out? None of them. I, everyone read the description, right? No card ship. No card ship. No, I don't know. <laughs> what does it say? It says, uh, no, uh, all, only inserts, parallels, short prints, rookie cards, and hits, etc. ship. No base cards ship in this. Oh, so it's, oh, it's six hours from New York to England. Oh. So. Then what's Russia then, Mike? Michael's all over the time on this. He's, he's, he's our time zone expert. So what, what is it, what is it from New York to most of the matches in Russia? I know they're kind of all over the place, but. All right, here's box number one. Stuff like that will ship out. These aren't numbered, so that's why I'm kind of breezing by those. Oh, you are not our expert. You got to Google. Come on. We'll Google it up. There's Lauren Koshilny for France. So seven hours, what, from East Coast to Moscow? So 10 hours for me. 25 out of 65. So yeah, so there's there's a lot of a lot of weird time stuff happening. It'll be a little little getting used to. There's Andre Silva. I think this is numbered. It is 56 out of 125 for Spain. There's Mohamed Salah. Wait, so is it five or six? Eric Jennings says it's five hours from New York to London. Whatever, it's hours ahead. It's some hours ahead. There's Alex Oxley Chamberlain. I'm gonna miss him for the Champions League final for my club Liverpool tomorrow. I think England will probably miss him in the World Cup this year too. He is out for a little while. Oh, daylight savings, right? We should just change it just to, so it's always daylight savings. And we've got Ahmed Hagazi. Six out of 15. So I think that replaces the autograph. That goes to Egypt. That's for Mark Glassman. Boombox, Egypt has a good chance of uh, getting out of the group. I think they do. I think it's, they got a good chance of getting out of the group. They got decent odds. Oh, they don't do daylight savings? Everyone should do daylight savings. Oh, people don't like to save daylight? I like to save daylight. 46, 48 out of 125. All right, box two. Good luck, everybody. So whatever the times are, it's going to be crazy. <laughs>
Can I get a can I get a World Cup schedule here at ESPNFC.com? All right, I got it. So, the the opening match of the World Cup uh, generally features the host country. So the opening match is Thursday, and for me, it's Thursday the 14th at 8 a.m. Russia and Saudi Arabia. It's uh, quite the marquee matchup there. Oh, EA, come on. When does the USA play? We don't play. We, we didn't feel like qualifying for the World Cup. You know who's happy about that? <laughs> Fox. Who's, who, has the, uh, who has the U.S. rights, I think, possibly global rights. U.S. rights to broadcast the World Cup here in the United States. And now, womp womp. Right. Chances are I will not be awake at 8 a.m. to watch Russia play Saudi Arabia. There's got to be some decent times here. Oh, come on, Michael. Not like we would have won anyway. You can't win if you don't play. We're not even playing. So, of course, anything could happen. All right, so what's this? So, it's Friday's games, Egypt and Uruguay, 5 a.m. Oh, I I kind of go to sleep at 5 a.m. 8 a.m. for Morocco, Iran. Portugal and Spain is at 11 a.m. Okay, that's a little more doable. That's my. These are all L.A. times, Pacific time. Oh, nice. The U.S. plays Mexico and Nashville. A warm-up match for Mexico. Or no, that's not a warm-up. That's after in September. Just a random friendly. All right, some matches are some matches are at 3 a.m. Like France Australia on looks like Saturday is at 3 a.m. That's doable for me. LA time. Argentina Iceland 6 a.m. when there there's a couple noon matches too. Croatia Nigeria it's at noon on Saturday. All right, those are those are some matches I can do. 134 out of 199. Dimitri Kambarov Most countries generally get out of their group. So we'll see if Russia can do that. That might be a could be a tough group. These tri-colored ones are also not numbered, but they will ship. I thought I saw someone else there. I think these mojos are also not numbered, but they will also ship as well. For Senegal, 41 out of 99, Lamine Gassama. That'll go to Senegal. That'll be for Alex Carmichael. The Russia card goes to, also goes to Alex Carmichael. That's part of the Serbia, Senegal, Russia combo spot. And it looks like an autograph. It's going to be for France. Nice. Patrick Vieira for France. Le Bleu. There we go. And that goes to Robert Rohr and France. One of the favorites to win it all. Say one of these Cristiano Ronaldo cards too for Portugal. Now there's a lot of value in this soccer, ladies and gentlemen, especially as we get closer and closer to the World Cup. And there's going to be some random players here that we pull that are suddenly going to jump in value if they have like an amazing few games in the World Cup. So if you're watching the World Cup, you like you know you're casual. Even if you're a casual soccer fan, you could you could try to get into some of these breaks, you know. And then 
you know, some random player can just have an amazing game, you know, like Eleni for Egypt. And then all of a sudden, boom, the the price of that, that card could skyrocket. You can maybe flip it for a decent profit too. It's possible. It happened it happened a number of years ago. I think who was the big one? James Rodriguez for Colombia. I think he was somewhat of an unknown player. Um somewhat of an unknown player and then he had a great World Cup the legend of Thomas Rodriguez yeah he's a he's a pretty good I remember most for, I remember him mostly at Arsenal but was a great uh, great old school player right here Patrick Vieira, Andy. As we get closer and closer to the World Cup, folks, I will have my picks. I will have my picks for uh, who wins the group and who advances from the group. So far, my, my, tentative, my tentative thoughts from group A, Egypt to win the group and advance. I think I'm doubling down on, on Egypt to win the group and or advance. Just mo mostly because of the value, uh, their value as a, as a bigger underdog. But they've got a pretty quality team. Mohamed Salah, who's on my Liverpool club, they're playing in the Champions League final tomorrow, which I'm very excited about. Um, Mohamed Salah could single-handedly get them out of the group. I mean, he's 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 a wizard with uh with the football with the with the soccer ball. He could single single handedly win matches. Russia might not be a bad bet either, but they're actually a favorite to advance. They're minus three twenty five to advance in Group A. So, so that's that's actually not a lot of good value because the host countries traditionally get out of their group. I've got one crazy, and we'll talk more about this as we get closer and closer. I got one crazy, crazy uh, wager though, an underdog wager, which I don't, which I think could have a little sneaky good value. Now all of these are value plays. This is not who I think is actually going to get out of the group. What I actually think is going to happen, but just in terms of of value, Portugal to not advance out of their group is plus three hundred, three to one which is actually kind of sneaky good odds. They've got Spain in their group, Morocco and Iran. Morocco's actually not that bad. And if they, if they have a bad game against, just Cristiano Ronaldo has a bad game against Iran or something like that, they, they might be behind before you know it. All right. Roman Saiz, 153 out of 199. Is that a, no, that's not. Coutinho is not numbered. That goes from speaking of Morocco, Netherlands Morocco combo, Daniel. Alvaro Morata, for Chelsea guy. It's going to be a good one for, for Spain. Iceland could surprise some people too, I think, out of their group. Ah, Jason L. is saying, hey, maybe a good bet is Dybala to win the Golden Boot. He said he said he says he's got good odds to win to win it. There you go. Yeah, well, I'll have my official picks as we get closer to the to the World Cup. Should be exciting. This might be one of Lionel Messi's last World Cups, I think, right? How old is he now? Probably probably his last one. 
1987. Maybe, maybe he's squeezing one more World Cup. There's Dembele for Belgium. Belgium could be a good pick to maybe even win it all. Exactly, Eric Jennings. Iceland had a great showing at in the uh, Euros 2016. That's for Belgium at a 149. That'll be for Jason Lahner. Is Neymar going to be... Is he going to be healthy for the... For the World Cup? And we have four. Oh, I love these cards. For Iran, these actually are pretty short printed. I think Rex hit one of these similar. I think he hit a Tom Thomas Muller, though. But these actually do pretty well on secondary market. I don't know how well the Iran one will do, but there you go. That's uh, Askan Dehaga. I think I pronounced that right. All my Persian friends will be like, oh, what a terrible pronunciation. Um, and we got Gary Cahill, 15 out of 25. Nice green cracked ice. So I think that that is the the low numbered card instead of the auto. Fifteen out of twenty five. That goes to um, England, which is for Andrew K. The Iran card goes to Boombox or the Italy Iran combo. And last box coming up. Is that only one per case? These things. I'd like to make the make the set of those. That, that would be pretty cool. Michael, you're saying England's going to win the World Cup? Well, what do you mean no excuses anymore? <laughs> I, I, I follow England pretty closely in the World Cup. And they, and I think they missed out on the Euros in 2016. And I don't know if they're, if that club's gonna. I I think I think getting I think getting out of the group is gonna be difficult for them. They'll probably get out of the group, but I think I think it it's not gonna look as smooth as as you'd like it to be for a team you would, you think is gonna win the World Cup. Oh, you're gonna get a three lions tattoo. Oh, so this this is coming from the heart, not the head. The birthplace of football have, has not won a World Cup since they hosted it in 1966. It's been a, it's been a minute or two. Um, I think the last closest one was to a to a big title was maybe early 90s. I think possibly Italy 1990. They always run, they always end up running into Germany. Is typically what it happens. They should be able to get out of their group okay. All right, exactly. Well, Scotland, I think, birthplace of golf. Uh, oh, I'm definitely, I'm definitely a square better on that one, Andy. Yes, definitely. A, I mean, I'm a square better in general, but uh, no, I'm going, I'm going with Liverpool. I'm going with her. I I think I got them at. I'll probably add a couple more pennies to my bet, but I got them in early May at plus one ninety five to win it. Um, so I think I think for them to win it, I think that's in regulation. I think I have to double check that that wager. But I think if to win and I think that might be just to win it in general. I think to win it in regulation, I think is plus two something right now on a three line bet, the win, lose, or draw. Or win and draw lines, I guess. 
I think the, the odds are a little bit better at plus two something, but it, it's a really tight matchup. It's very close. Uh, extra time and penalties lock it up, says Mike. Well, I don't know. Liver Liverpool is a little leaky, is a little leaky defensively. And they play a very energetic style of football. So if it goes to extra time, I don't like their odds in extra time. And I don't like their odds in a shootout either. <laughs> with their with their keeper, who's been playing a lot better, Lord Carius, but No, that guy's going to be pretty tough. Um, that is not numbered. So I think I think the best scenario for Liverpool would be to to start the game fast. <laughs> you know, to score go goals early and then not even pull back, but just continue trying to score goals. <laughs> Because if they if they try to if they try to sit back, and tr if they if they go up two nothing three nothing and they try to sit back, and try to defend their way out of that game, they can't do it. That's not their style. At a one twenty five, there's Usama Hadadi. For Tunisia, I believe. Oh, that red one was for Sweden. Gronquist, at a one forty nine for Sweden. That goes to Anderson. There's Ivan Rakitic for Croatia at a 199. Nice Cristiano Ronaldo. Pull one of these Salas out for Egypt as well. Leroy Sané, Sané for Germany. That'll be for Peter Eng. That's out of 125. This is a regular base card. We'll ship one of these to Egypt just for good luck. Boom box with Egypt and that nice. This is a nice Cristiano Ronaldo as well. 006 out of 125. Just one off the jersey number as usual. But I'm sure this will actually bring in a decent amount of dollar dollar bills. There you go. And there you have it, boys and girls. No auto in this one. I wonder if the Ronaldo is the is that low numbered card right there for the box. Um, that's it. Thank you very much. We got four more boxes from that case in the store. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna post that right now on jazbeeshobbyland.com. And I think we have a couple more cases of this. I'll probably get a little more soccer on jazbeeshobbyland.com. So keep checking out the website. It's your one stop shop for uh, the best soccer breaks and some good soccer talk. So thanks very much, everyone. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.